All right, guys, uh, this is Crack Attack, and I'm going to be running a game called Steven Seagal is the Final Option, the best video game ever made. Uh, there's one or two players. Uh, two player doesn't work because this is a prototype game. And then uh, let's go ahead and do a countdown, and you guys will see how awesome it is. So we're going to go in three, two, one, go. All right, so the first thing you guys will notice is the graphics and the the music are just way too good for this game. And we got a trick right off the bat, uh, if I can get it. Okay. Uh, one more step right there. Oh, no, that doesn't work. I'm just going to die. Okay, so uh, another way to get through is to death warp. There's going to be quite a bit of death warps in this game. Uh, Steven Seagal... I don't know how to explain how he moves. It's just very loose and it just doesn't work half the time. And since this is a prototype game, there's a lot of uh, a lot of fully functioning things in this game. And this game runs at 60 million FPS. And it runs at 40 million resolution as well. 40K. Okay, so we go through here, and uh, what I gotta do in all these stages is I gotta collect these items so I can collect, if I can go to the exit on each one. Uh, Steven Seagal does have his uh, his punches, his kicks, his weapons, uh, but since I'm a non-violent person, I only do it as a last resort. There will be some last resorts in World 2. So I'm, I'm gonna get the item here. Make sure you guys get those uh, Steven Seagal packs in for, during your donations. We got some very, uh, he's got a block, he's got the gun, uh, let's see. Okay. He's got a kick too, and some knife. The knife is the worst thing in the game, because if you throw too many, you crash the game. So I don't want to throw them preferably at all. You throw about eight or nine of them, and then it, the, the whole world just falls out of balance, and you can go through walls. Just like Steven Seagal can do in real life, he can phase through walls without even trying. And another fun fact about this game, as some of you may know, is that Steven Seagal, just like in real life, has 255 lives. And you have 255 ammo in this game. And that's each life, so you're, you're definitely set on that. He's got more lives than a cat. So in World 1, I can pass through these electric gates. Normally I'm supposed to... Oh yeah, nice boxes there. Normally I'm supposed to activate a switch to pass through it, but World 1 and 4, you do not need to do that. So let me explain how the worlds go. There's, um, there's six worlds with three stages each. So there's 18 levels total. However, uh, as the, uh, the, with the extensive research I've done, I found that only nine of them are completable. So we're going to go through those. And then it also looks like the donation incentive was met to show some of the other incompletable levels as well, or impossible yeah, levels. Mark. Okay, perfect. Yes. That was met right away then. Okay, cool. You guys really like Steven Seagal. Steven Seagal was the only option. I don't know why it says why it's called final option. Okay, so we got World 1-3. And yeah, a lot of the enemies consist of uh, like janitors and scientists. But we get some other enemies, we get some, some cops, and you'll see in World 4 we get a very interesting enemy as well. We get some SWAT guys as well. So, you know, let me explain the control here. To jump, you tap A, and of course that makes sense. But to do a long jump, he has to do like a certain amount of walking until he does a long jump. And then I have to hold. It's actually really hard to chain these uh, jumps together. It's, it's surprisingly really hard for basic control. That's probably the hardest part of this game is actually trying to long jump. And you can move diagonal too. Okay, so to, in order to beat uh, World 1, I have to place this item here from items from two, uh, 1, 2, and 1, 3. And then we got that, so we go through, and it puts a timer there. And then we're gonna jump right here. Ah, uh, oh! 
No? Okay. Let's try again. And these jumps. Uh, it sounds like uh, Charlie Brown kicking the football every time he falls off. There we go. Okay, now the game starts to get really good in World 2. As if it wasn't already. We get this like, uh, this epic music sound kind of sounds like a Journey to Cilius song. I'm gonna try to jump across here. Ah, uh, that's fine. So here's uh, where the death warps are gonna come in handy. Whenever you die, you have this cursor you can use and it'll go a certain radius. So I can't do it like infinitely through the whole level. There's gonna be very, some very difficult jumps in 2-1 coming up. That's one of the easier ones. Okay, so like I said, in World 2, we have to get the switches to get the electric gates. So World 2 is going to be considerably longer overall. Okay, we're going to get a zip. I could zip in World 1. You could zip in all the worlds, but... uh, Oh, we got it. Oh, nice. Okay, so we're zipped out of bounds. Completely functioning game. Okay, and then we got to make this jump back. Okay, here we go. And this electric gate is down now, so we're gonna go through. And don't worry, we'll get to the fighting soon. Don't you guys worry. It is actually a beat em up game, so a platformer beat em up, but there's definitely a lot more platforming in this game. Okay. This is the hardest jump, this is the hardest trick in the game. I didn't get it. Let's try again. Okay, that's perfect. Wow, okay, that was, uh, yeah, I was worried about that one. That's the toughest thing in the whole game. We got it almost right away. Cool, cool. It gives you barely enough space to jump over with the death warp. Oh, this door! Okay, uh, so backup strat. Shoot these poor maintenance workers and then go in. You have to enter at a certain angle and sometimes if they get in your way, you can't enter that door. Some of the doors are like that. Okay, let's go. Uh, I guess we can do another zip right here. Oh. Uh, oh, nice. Got the zip right away. Nice. So to do a zip in this game, you have to basically have to time your jump and then hold up at a very specific point. And as you're jumping and holding up, the game, I don't know, gets confused. The best explanation. And then you go through it and you can do it only horizontal movement once you're zipped out of bounds. And uh, I believe Steven Seagal was a cop for 20, over 20 years, so I don't know why these guys are trying to shoot him down. Okay, we got the cop skip right here. Nice. Okay, so to do that trick right there, I have to pull out the gun or the knife and uh, hold up. I have to press up like at a very specific point and it lets me not get shot because the deaths in this game, the ones that I'm, that are accidental, I'm not cussed about like three seconds each. So we try to avoid those deaths. Just the, the death warps, obviously, we're gonna take, but the other deaths we don't generally take. Okay, so we got the, or we're gonna finally get the fighting now. You're gonna show his uh, jujitsu or aikido or whatever he does. And go across. Okay. So here's Steven Seagal's move. He has 100 hand slap. Just like E Honda, you gotta press the Y button, you gotta rapidly press it. And uh, he's got a kick. The kick is kind of bad. He's got the knives. I'm not gonna use those because it might soft lock the game. And he's got a block too, just like in real life, he can block. And that does actually prevent you from dying from anything, even guns. It's really hard to time though. Okay, there's our SWAT guy. He's got a considerably more health. Uh, but the gun just one shots everything, so you might as well just use the gun. But I guess while it's an auto scroll, we can do some uh, practices. Uh, this chop. So some donations here. How about this? Sure. Seven hundred and fifty dollar donation from Mott saying Steven Seagal was the final option after Chuck Norris was busy counting to infinity and Jean-Claude Van Damme got lost in time. 
And also, a $10 donation from Captain Snuggles asking, why did Steven Seagal fly over the sea? Because if he flew over the bay, he'd be Steven Bagel. I didn't expect that. Okay, I good. Yeah, John, John Claude Van Damme was uh, doing, yeah, he was doing other movies and Chuck Norris, obviously, yeah. <clears throat> what about uh, Goku or anybody? Did they call him yet? We, you want another? You want another fact here? Yeah, let's get another fact. Let's keep him going. Let, let, let's get this other fact here. Uh, a five dollar donation from anonymous saying Steven Seagal can have any kind of flooring he wants—hardwood, tile, carpet, you name it—but he always takes the vinyl option. I don't get it. Okay, uh, now we're gonna go into the second part of 2-2. And I gotta get a lot of electric switches. I could basically, I gotta go to the room to the very right and then make my way in each room and not get shot. Uh, yeah, we can do another Steven Seagal fact. There's, this is like the level with not too much going on. If we got right, some well, more. We're, 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 while we're waiting for some more of those <laughs> to, to get in, uh, I will say that we do have a twenty dollars donation from the infinite, uh, the infinite egg that just says awful block height. So please get more facts in or tell us why he was the final option. What other options were tried before Steven Seagal was decided to be the final option? Oh, oh, oh I made that nice. Okay, cool. I didn't get shot. Okay, this one I have to. The fastest way is to shoot this guy. It's a wild west out here. I got to shoot before he shoots me. I'm going to do some movement there, and I still got shot. Impressive. Well, good thing he has 255 lives. I'm not sure how many more lives I got, but uh, we got plenty. Okay, I'm going to do some diagonal movement. Actually, one thing I didn't mention also is I do a lot of enemy spawn manipulation. So only a certain amount of enemies can be on screen or within a certain radius. So what I'm doing is I'm moving in very specific ways on some screens so that the enemies don't get my way. Because if they get my way, I can't... They block my jump as well, and that's no good. Ah! Okay, go up. Oh, the music is so good. I love, I love the music in World 2. Okay, go across. I gotta make sure I not get, I don't get shot there if I'm picking up the item. Otherwise, the game soft locks and I can't complete it. So I, I did that successfully. It's not hard to do it, but it's it's it exists. Going through the lava, nice. Okay, we're gonna make another jump. I think that's enough. Let's see if we can make it. First try. Let's go. Okay, uh, a little bit more lava. Okay, now we're gonna run into uh, some levels that are incompletable, so, unfortunately. So we're gonna have to go to World 4. Yes, all of World 3 and 2-3 are, as far as I know, are not completable. But we have that incentive met so we can watch some of those stages right after the run. Ah! Oh, oh no, I do go in this room. What am I doing? Okay, so we can go through electric gates again. The game's functioning again. Okay, I gotta be very careful with these uh, steam vents. Oh, the SWAT guy got me. Impressive. You win this time, SWAT guy. And, um... Yeah, I gotta be careful with these steam vents because they can crash the game if they spawn in a certain order. Luckily, they're static. Which ones spawn? But if I take too long in some of the rooms, they will crash the game. Okay, I gotta go in the second door here. Right here, okay. Oh, we got the Power Ranger too, that's the other enemy. If you notice, the luchador looking guy. Power Ranger rules. So the properties of the Power Ranger enemy is that he uh, shoots one laser. And it's a very fast laser and it'll one-shot you. But he's a very slow enemy, so as long as you just outspeed him and not at his horizontal height, you're fine. Do we got any more uh, Steven Seagal facts? Uh, they're, they're st I'm still waiting for some of them to come in, but I do have some other donations that I can read. Yeah, sure, we can do some donations. 
Yeah, so I've got a $25 donation from Salmon Thrice saying Awful Block is always a highlight of GDQ for me, and this year might be the best one I've seen yet. Thanks so much to all the runners for showing off these bizarre and wonderful games. I accidentally zipped there. Okay. Back in bounds. Great. You can accidentally zip in this game quite a bit. Okay, so that's 4 1. I do have to collect the items because I need it for 4 3, otherwise, I cannot complete 4 3. I actually found this a uh, few months running this game. There's, a, there's absolutely no community for this game because nobody knows about it. Uh, but I found a few months ago that you can complete World 4. And it, all it was was just you have to collect those items. So I'm really happy about that. And I'm still finding new stuff with this game. So maybe we'll find some other levels that can be completed too. That's why the category is any percent nine exits. I'm completing nine stages. And then we're credit warping at that after that. Okay, Power Rangers, got to be careful with those. SWAT guy, get out of the way, get out of the way. Okay, let's go. Okay, whoops. This guy. Okay, he passes through every object there. Oh, okay. Those Steve Vents can kill you too. Okay, Andrew, pass over the slime. Okay. Go in here. Oh, my cat's calling me. My cat. She's in the background. Okay. I want to get hit by the Roomba here. This is one of the enemy spawn manipulations. Okay, and then there's going to be a Power Ranger right there, and the bottom left Power Ranger will disappear since I ran into the Roomba. Now, we got some very cryptic hidden exit here. It's like, only Nintendo Power would help you here. You got to be right here, and then you press down, and then there's a hidden exit there. That took me a long time to find out. That took me like 10 hours or so, something like that to figure out just this stage alone. Okay. Now we got a very important... Uh, Actually, yeah, we got time for donations while you guys watch the uh, interesting textures of this game. All right. Well, we do have we, we got a couple more facts here. Uh, we have a ten dollar donation from Carolyn Design that said, did you know that Steven Seagal once rescued an entire flock of airboats using only one beam? That's, that's absolutely true. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. So I, I, I know people are probably looking at the screen and being like, is this normal? I've got a, a secret layer in my basement, and that's exactly the same textures that are on my crushing machines in my basement. I'm sure Crack Attacks, they're the same for you. You've got the exact same ones. They look just like that. Yeah, just the yeah, that's perfectly right functioning. That's, yes, that's exactly what they look like. We have a $10 donation from Sloat that says, the option before Steven Seagal was three kids in a trench coat. So that guy, I guess that didn't work. Some good, some here. okay options there, but I guess yeah. we only have the only option. Yeah. I don't know why they went with anybody else. And uh, we do have a $50 donation from Metanoc that says twice a year we tune into GDQ for an amazing display of games and skill, all for a noble cause. The Awful Block is always a hilarity I hope to never miss, and thus, and this year is no exception. Good luck to all the runners. Okay, we're gonna defeat a Power Ranger here. Why are the Power Power Rangers and Roombas <laughs> in in the same layer? Yeah, any enemy could spawn in this game. I should uh, mention the story of this game, which is kind of non-existent too. Uh, apparently, you're trying to s stop this company called Nanotech, and they're I guess making like bionoid cyborg things or something. That's what all this stuff in the background is supposed to be all their failed experiments and all this stuff. And uh, so Steven Seagal's partner, Jack Friedman or something, his name is, he he died trying to stop nanotech. And so Steven Seagal has to finish the job here. Hopefully I don't die. Okay, cool. Okay, now we got the most important zip in the game. I need to get this one. Absolutely need to get this one. Saves like roughly two minutes. Oh, we're through. Nice. First try. Okay, let's go. This saves a lot of time here. A lot of time. All right. Cool, cool, cool. I'm happy I got that. Okay. So we got to go in this room, and we got to get the items placed down, the detonator or whatever it's supposed to be. Cool, cool.
Ah, uh, okay. I do not zip on this part because there's a little hole in the wall and it's going to get me back in the slime if I try to zip there. Okay, and then I just uh, death warp over the slime again. There's slime, there's Power Rangers, they got everything. Okay, now we're going into the last uh, level that can be completed, but time won't stop at the end of this level. I guess the way I do timing. Yeah, I actually uh, found this game, I, I think I said in the interview, I found this game from a friend that was... Because I like Time Cop, but that's a game that kind of looks like this, and... He showed me this game, and I'm like, he's a pro it's a prototype. I'm like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll play it for a little bit, I'll try it out. And then here we are playing it at a GDQ, so that's really cool. Playing it at the end of Awful Block. Okay, the only way to complete this stage is to zip. You actually do have to zip to complete this stage. The other levels, you don't have to, but they're faster to zip. In fact, it puts you out of bounds right here, so you need to uh, get back in bounds. There we go. Okay, and then the final zip of the game. Let's see if we can get it right away. There's an invisible floor right below me, so that's why I have to zip. And then, of course, you can't... You, you don't have enough space to cross. Okay. And then Steven Seagal proceeds to go at warp drive. Whatever this is supposed to be. You can kind of spam up or down, and that's pretty much it. Okay, so here's how it's going to go. I'm going to do two level code select things. On the second one, I will call time. So I'm going to do one here. Since these levels can't be completed, we have to manually skip them. Okay, there's the first one. Okay, get ready on time. Three, two, one, time. All right, and then we get this amazing ending. All right, uh, what was the time? Let's see. Oh, the time was 21.44. Nice, that's world record then. All right. Oh, wow. Yeah, by a few seconds. We, cool. We've been getting a lot of those yeah. tonight during Awful Vlog. Lots, oh, lots of PBs. Yeah. All that practice paid off. And then this guy has an R&R on &R his chin. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Uh, so, yeah, we got the donation incentive, right? So we're going to yes. head right into uh, the glitch showcase or impossible level showcase. We'll show some of the, we'll show 2-3, three, we'll show 3-1 and 6-1. We'll show some really interesting stuff there. Okay, so let me reset. Okay, Steven Seagal. Final option. Okay, we're going to start at 2-3. So with 2-3, uh, yeah, thanks guys in the chat. Hope you guys are enjoying this the run. Okay, and then we're gonna try two, three. We're gonna start there. And the reason this level can't be completed, as far as I know, I've spent too much time. I spent about 30 hours just on this stage. I don't care to spend any more time on this stage. Uh, trying to figure out how to complete it, but there is no item. And it's got this like moving floor thing, which is kind of cool. Okay, so let's show this off real quick. Oh, I made all those jumps. Okay, except for that one. Nice. Gonna go up. But I will show you where the exit is. There's a lot of soft locks in this level, so I'm gonna actually have to zip to avoid the soft locks. We're gonna go right here. Zip. Oh, first try zip. Nice. So those flames can crash the game too if you're too low. Luckily, I'm zipping over so I don't uh, get the soft lock. Then there's the exit. Just doesn't work. Impressive game. Okay, so we're going to level... Oh. Oops, let's try that again. Let's try that again. Okay, there we go. You got to get the level code, which is B-A-B-Y-R, baby R. That's the level select code. Okay. Okay, we got world three here. It's real jazzy tune. Okay, we're gonna zip here. So 
So I'm gonna go in this room just to show you, real guys, real quick. Just how interesting the, the textures are in this game. There's whatever that is. And then we got, uh, hopefully I don't get shot here. Sometimes when I come out of the room, I get shot. Uh, let's let's cross over quickly. Oh, I fell down though. Okay, whatever. You win this time, game. Okay, let's uh, zip here. There's a Roomba there too. Okay. Okay, it says exit there, but it's clearly a lie. Okay, so we do have to, oh no. Okay, we got to get these guys out of the way. How about uh, some Steven Seagal action here? Here we go. They like burp whenever they die. Okay, so we have to get the switches. This is world three. The we gotta get just this switch actually. If I can get it, holy cow. Okay. Let me get this one. Let me get these guys out of the way real quick. Okay. Okay, go. Okay, and then I'm gonna go down here. Okay, so I'm gonna I open the electric gates. Oh, let's show this real quick. Let me go. Oh, that uh, look, you can't even get hit. It shoots numbers. So I guess it's trying to tell you math doesn't hurt you. I don't know. Okay, so you go in here, and then uh, I will. You guys can guess why the level can't be completed. That's right, invisible floor. Okay, uh, we'll do world six. Okay, we got to see World 6 very briefly. Um, there is one other thing I want to show real quick before we head to the exit. And that you can become the predator in this game. You can literally become a chameleon. And now you would think that's kind of awesome, but it actually hinders your uh, hitbox. It makes your hitbox bigger so you can get hit by more things. So that's no good, but it's kind of cool. So I thought I'd show it. And then we'll head to the exit. There's some more Power Rangers in this world, too. They get every enemy in World 6. So there's no item in World 6, either. And 6-2 and 6-3 are identical to this level, so they can't be completed, either. And, uh, yeah, there's a key, but that doesn't do anything. And then, yeah, that that's that's it. That's the showcase. Okay, cool. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, Steven Seagal action here. Thank you guys so much. All right. Thank you so much for that. That was uh, that was everything I dreamed of and more. Uh, and we actually have a uh, we have one fact here that I want to tell you. Uh, about Steven Seagal that came in. We have a $20 donation from Rational Poetry that says, fact, Steven Seagal was the final option because Steven Agall and Steven Beagall were unavailable. I'll let you think about that. And we will be right back right after this break. Don't close that tab.
You are watching Awesome Games Done Quick 2023 online. We are now out of the awful block, and now we have Mega Man ZX coming up next by Amizio. And uh, I hear uh, Fiesel has an interview with our runner for Mega Man ZX. So, Fiesel, what you got for us? Hello, everybody. I am Fiesel, and I am here with the runner for Mega Man ZX, which is coming up next. Amesio, thank you for joining me. Yeah, the pleasure is also mine. Thank you. Uh, so, how long have you been running this game, Mega Man ZX? I've been uh, running it for six months, almost half a year. Well, that's impressive. So, six months and you're already performing a GDQ, which is amazing. So, how did you manage that? もう、ずっと練習や、その裏でもうひたすら研究して、それでワールドレコードまでたどり着くことができました。It's uh, been uh, just practicing all the time and you know the the repetition, you know, eventually, you know, gets the skills in. Yeah, I bet. Um, so <laughs> have you come up with any new strategies or discoveries that have improved the run? はい。えっと、とてつもなく、あの、難しいんですが、えっと、かなり早くなるストラテジーを2つほど見つけまして、1つはあの、今でもどうして安定しているのかがわからないくらいのものをですね。これからも新しい発見をしていきたいですね。<笑><
Uh, but on the other hand, uh, this reduces the bio metal gauge, which is like the, the key mechanic in Mega Man ZX, which uh, that gauge gives you an advantage in like the rest of the run. So it's really tough to balance out uh, which, uh, which or how much to use it for. Um, so, you know, how much do you use on the boss? How much do you save for the, the rest of the level? Oh, okay, interesting. Um, well, that is all the time we have, but thank you, MSGO, very much for talking with us today. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Well, everybody, stick around for Mega Man ZX, which is coming up next. Thank you so much for that, Fiesel. I cannot wait for this run. Yes, Mega Man ZX is coming up next. We last saw it on the DS at AGDQ 2016. So it's been a while since this game ha has been here. We did just wrap up the awful block. There are some Steven Seagal facts that have kind of bled over. I'm going to read through some of them, but also I want to read this $10 donation from Folks Edo saying, Crack Attack, you are a Tier 1 operator. We have a $10 donation from Prometheus that says, did you know that Steven Seagal's actual name is Airboat Infinite? Five dollar. We have a $5 donation from Nituri that said, they actually called Jackie Chan, but he was stuck in a rush hour because we were trying to figure out why Steven Seagal was the final option. What did they try earlier? That was one of them. We also have a $5 donation from Benjamin Tassel saying that Steven Seagal was the final option after someone messed up and hired Flock of Seagulls as the second to last option. And we have a $250 donation from Sharif saying, I may have escaped the awful blog this year, but it will forever remain my GDQ home. home. Good luck, friends. Well, I think they did great. But now we are ready for Mega Man ZX. So, Emizio, show us how it's done. 